All right, hello folks and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I am your host Josh and this is part 10 of our let's play of 12 Hours to Die. When we last left off, uh, every, everyone was kind of just emotionally falling apart. You know, the whole group, we, we've explored the whole school now, and so now the, the, the sort of hopelessness of the situation seems to be sort of settling in. Uh, we've left Edmund off working on uh, computer program nonsense, uh, setting some stuff up there. Reyna has gone back to meet everyone up at the stage here. And here we go. You're all done searching the second floor? Did any of you find anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. I see. In that case, we should... Shut up. Just shut up already! If you want to keep searching, go ahead. But don't drag us into it. Argus, we've been searching this entire school for nearly five hours now. And what have we found? Absolutely nothing. But that's why we must keep looking. We, we can't give up now. Your naivete is astounding. Do you honestly think that if we keep looking, we'll suddenly find a way out? It's a nice thought, but reality is a cruel mistress. Some, some people haven't had to live with film failures like me. I know how the world works. What else are we supposed to do? Wait here and die? We have to escape. It's the only way for us all to survive. That's impossible! Face it! The only way any of us will get out of this hellhole is if one of us kills. That's enough! We won't stoop to that level! Exactly, we can't keep those terms. So you're just gonna keep running around, searching for an exit that doesn't exist until we all die. How selfish can you be? S selfish? A, sh a shellfish? I want us all to escape with our lives. How is that selfish? If you really wanted us to get out of here, then just kill someone already. You know, the logical conclusion. Argus, that's too far. Don't be stupid. You've all realized it too. I don't want to kill. Why don't they just get it over with and let us escape already? That's what you're all thinking. That... I don't care if I live or die. But if we're gonna die anyway, I'd rather it be now. Waiting for our deaths? It's just torture. Sounded like he was volunteering. I'll do it. That way at least four of you can. Billy, no! But we have to consider it, even if it's at the last minute. I know that, but still, you're not a killer, Billy. Actually, uh, it was the volleyball quarterfinals, and, uh... <laughs> Billy, wait! Reyna? If that's how it's gonna be? Tomoka, if I... Please take care of Edmund. What? Reyna, wait! Well, everyone's gone. <laughs> Finally, some alone time. Can barely hear anything through the open door, but I heard enough. There. That should do it. I'll just leave this program running and check back on it when I have the chance. With time, it should be able to connect to the school's network. Then, maybe. <laughs> we don't have time. By the time it's finished, it may be too late. Any moment now, someone will crack down from the pressure and kill someone. It's unavoidable. I'm so useless. I don't want this. I don't want anyone to die. But I can't do anything to stop it. I don't want them to die. They've all done so much for me. Especially Billy. Billy, Cecile, Argus, Sis, they all let me into their group. And after I was such an absolute dweeb, no other group would have had me. If it wasn't for Sis, I would have been all alone again. If it wasn't for Sis, they wouldn't have given me a second thought. They were obligated to be nice because I'm her brother. I was just a burden. No, I still am a burden. It is always interesting. Uh, I feel like that's a common thing. The like younger sibling becoming friends with the older sibling's friends. 
No, it, well, it didn't happen in my sibling relationship, but I've seen it a lot in other sibling uh, situations. And it always leads to some kind of awkwardness, I feel like. Even after all this time, I still have to rely on everyone. They must be relieved to finally move away and to remove me from their lives. Out of everyone here, I would be the most obvious target. I don't know that that's completely true. No one would want to kill their friends, so they'll kill me instead. <laughs> the one everyone hates. I hold them so much, it made me happy to pretend to be their friend. I wouldn't hold it against them if they killed me. I get such good grades, how could anyone not, out of sheer jealousy? It's not like I matter. Everyone else has so much to live for. I mean, have you been listening, Edmund? <laughs> Most people have been saying exactly the opposite. My life, on the other hand, only caused pain for others. I wish I would just disappear. I should just... just... Stop it, Edmund! You're not responsible for anyone else's actions. It's not your fault. None of what happened is your fault. Promise me, you won't ever give up on living. So Rain is gonna be the one to die, right? I feel like that's coming into clearer focus here as we as we move forward. Uh, uh, no, I can't do that. I promised. But if I don't, then someone else might. I shouldn't be selfish. I have to... But... But... I'll just let the darkness consume me. I don't want to die. Welcome to the first floor hallway. Edmund? Hey. Can we talk? In room 100? This is where it all started. Mm-hmm. There used to be so many students in here. It was so crowded and loud, and I hated it. But now, I do anything just to go back to how things used to be. I miss it too. Every lunch, we would meet with the others. I would always sit silently, but I enjoyed listening to you and the others. Except for Argus, that guy's a total D-bag. <laughs> Every now and then, Brandon would come and try to drag you into the conversations. I've never been good at talking to people, especially in a group. Most of the time, I do something wrong, so I just prefer to be quiet. But it's not just that. I've done horrible things in the past. I've straight up killed people. Have you not put two and two together yet? Many people have been hurt because of me and my incredible accounting skills. There was a time I thought I was better off gone. But ever since that night, the thought of dying started to terrify me. Do you remember? I could never forget it. But only if I begin the paralogue, which obviously I will. Three years ago. Jesus. I know it's not as loud for you guys as it is for me, because my audio is a little different, but these crickets are insanely loud. Hey, campers! I asked my llama if his cousin wanted to go camping. And you know what he said? I'll pack a tent! Ugh. Man, I wish I went camping when I was your age. <laughs> I was too busy working the mines. Who knew it was going to be intense? What did I do to deserve this? Did I ever tell you about the time I was called a plagiarist? No, but you're probably gonna. Their words, not mine. Who gave him a microphone? <laughs> if, if a plan is sad, do other plants photosympathize? Wait, what was this one? Where's a pie when you need one? <laughs> yeah, it was, that was, it was roughly that. Oh, I get it. Because intense sounds like intense. Ha! <laughs> Woo! Oh, Mr. Johan, you crack me up. Man, you're slow. <sighs> I'll be right back. Ugh. Hmm? Thought I heard footsteps. Someone leaving the campsite? We're not supposed to leave the area. 
You know the shovel was a ground-breaking invention. Get off the stage! Hey! Hey, could you wait a sec? It's her. The girl from my dreams. We're not supposed to leave the campsite at night. Is she ignoring me? I should be used to this, but I, I heard you. If you're done, you should head back. But you'll get in trouble if... It doesn't matter whether you tell a teacher or not. Just leave me alone. I should probably go back. But it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <sighs> like, I wish they would stop doing the <laughs> dumb sound effect with the sigh. <sighs> I know you're still following me. Ah! Do you think this will convince me to go back? Not really. Then you should stop wasting your time and go back. But but you shouldn't go alone. It's d d d d d d dangerous. There could be ghouls. And, well, I don't know how to get back. <sighs> that was creepy. Whoa. Looks like some old village of ruins. What? What? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the old village ruins outside the forest. Did you know about this place? Nope. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Wonder when this was built. The structure doesn't look like anything to be built today. Must not be too old. Otherwise, this would be fenced off. Right. Maybe they all died. From ghosts. It's almost midnight. There's one place I want to go before heading back. Do you mind? No. When did I tell you my name? You didn't. You're somewhat famous around school for skipping a grade and being a complete dweeb that everyone hates. Oh. <laughs> You're Reyna's brother, right? Yeah, are you two friends? Maybe? I'm not sure. How are you not sure? You know my name, but I still don't know yours. Tomoka. My name is Tomoka. Tomoka, that's a, a Japanese name, right? <laughs> Where are you going with this, Edmund? Yes? My father was born in Japan, but my mother and I were born in the States. I see. Okay, your turn. All right, how about Argus, Billy, and Edmund? Tell me we aren't doing what I think we're doing here. Tell me she didn't just give Reyna an MFK that includes her brother. I thought we weren't going to include our friends. Besides, one of them is my brother. <laughs> ah. Well, I definitely kiss. All right. Well, M M K K. <laughs> Ray, are you in there? Go away, Felix. But it's important. What is it? Have you seen Ed? Why would we know? He would be in the boys' area. That's what I thought too. But he hasn't come back to our tent yet. Are you sure he's supposed to be in your tent? Edmund's assigned to tent B4, along with me and Billy. We've already searched the campsite. Twice. Each. No matter how you look at it, he's missing. Come to think of it, our team tent mate and teammate hasn't arrived yet. It wouldn't happen to be Tomoko, would it? Yes, but how did you know? I saw her walking in the woods earlier. And you didn't think to stop her? But you know how she is. She probably just... You idiot! Don't you know how dangerous it is at night? I don't see what the big deal is. There's no lions, tigers, or bears, oh my, around here. Oh, well, okay, we're making the joke for me. Oh my. Or do you actually believe in that big hand... Big hand urban legend? Excuse me? 
It doesn't matter. We have to go find her. And Edmund. I think Tomika takes priority since she's in the woods. Unless they're together. You know. Together. I was thinking that too. We're all thinking it. Wait, what? Ed and Tomika? Oh, I can see that. <laughs> oh, I'm picturing it right now. I didn't think you had it in him. It's gonna have to give him a real man-to-man -man talk later. Edmund is not like you sleaze bags. Sleaze bags? Why are we still standing around here? Whatever, I'm gonna go look for him. Wait up! You can't go alone! Take this! Guys! We need to tell a teacher! Let's go. Right behind you. Guys! Really? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm telling you, that sound effect, the purr, really cuts the tension out. <laughs> wow, it's so pretty. And a full moon, too? It's almost perfect. Not as perfect as you. What? Edmund, get a clue and shut up. <laughs> Is that so this is really something you should be telling yourself pretty much every like 30 seconds or so, Edmund. It's more beautiful than I remembered. Have you been here before? Yeah, right after I killed someone. Not exact. I mean, not exactly. When I was very young, my mom and dad took me to a beach like this. I didn't understand it back then, so I was making a fuss over dumb things. I remember my mother standing here. And my father was here giving me a piggyback. That's when I killed him. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, my parents both passed away when I was young. So I don't have many memories of them. But for some reason, I still vividly remember that night. Was that why you came to Plymouth? Sort of. After my parents' passing, Uncle Pietro brought me here to begin my high school classes. Then I'm to attend university to study business and accounting. Sounds to me like you have your whole life set up for you. Yeah. I hate it. What? How would you like it? A life where you're not allowed to decide anything for yourself? Well, uh, seems like a dream. I get to live a comfortable life, but I have to give up my dreams and do as I'm told. It doesn't matter what I do now. My entire future is already decided. I'm a prisoner in a fancy cell. A bird in a cage. Still, I'm grateful for what little freedom I have. It's thanks to my uncle that I'm not escorted everywhere by bodyguards. I can live a somewhat normal life for as long as I'm a student. Though it's hard to enjoy this knowing what my future holds. Are you a princess? What's going on here? You're weird. Huh? Most people would have assumed I was making all that up for attention. My sister always said I'm too trusting sometimes. I mean, I followed a girl I didn't know into village ruins, so... I mean, it does sound unbelievable, but I don't think you're lying. And again, you could be an amazing actor. <laughs> Been too long. Oh, the loud crickets are back. She hasn't said a word since we left the beach. Still, I'm glad we had a chance to speak. The rumors don't do her justice. <laughs> Round. Um, hey. <laughs> Shh. Something wrong? Shh. I hear voices. Hide. Nig. Before I could react, she shoved me behind a nearby tree. He is a good tree. Fool. <laughs> Keep quiet. Says the guy who kept stepping on branches. Just mock up the tree already, fool! Sure, jackass. They seem to be marking that tree. They literally just said it. But why in the shape of a claw mark? So, Big Hand was fake after all. Huh? This makes the fourth marking. Can't believe how easy this is. Those foolish tabloids will pay anything for a good story. Soon we'll be rolling in it all because of Big Hand. Maybe we should vary up the signs. In due time. In due time. 
And done. Good. Let's get out of here before we're seen by two teenage rascals. Achoo! Crap. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> Who's there? Fool! Is that, is that your catchphrase, hoodie guy? Oh no. Hello, fools! <laughs> Beautiful evening, isn't it? Oh, great. Witnesses. Uh... We're baking out in a bush? <laughs> you. Huh? Does she know them? Oh, ho, ho, a feisty one. Wait, you're... It's nothing personal, but we need you to take a nap. Eh? But I'm not tired. Run! Run! Huh? Run, Edmund! But I love you. Hold it right there! What the? The cops! But how do they find us? We have you surrounded. Put your hands where we can see them. I mean, you got one hand up each, but you gotta put the other one up that's in your pockets. Screw this! I'm not going back! <laughs> I've done my time! I'll take my chances. Ah, we're saved. Yeah, you better run. I can't believe that worked. And you thought the plan would flop. Fine, I take back what I said. Wait a minute. Is that... There you are. Uh, hey sis. I don't like that look in her eyes. <laughs> oh, sis hasn't said anything in a while. Nothing's are really awkward. I'm sorry. For what? I should have... I... You should have what? It's my fault you all had to find me because I couldn't stop her. I'd hardly call that your fault. But... You're not responsible for anyone's actions except your own. What happened, happened. Don't linger on what could have been. So, now what? If we do this right, we can return to our tents without anyone noticing. In the morning, you and Tomika will apologize for sneaking out. So, we're gonna hide everything else? You're both sorry for what happened, right? That's good enough for us. But... What about those two other guys? You know, the <laughs> stereotypical villains. While we were looking for you two, we found their truck parked in an illegal spot. We reported it to the police. Yes! Got him on a traffic law! <laughs> we reported it to the police, so they should be discovered soon. I see. Still. The way Tomoka reacted to those two made it sound like she knew them. But it probably doesn't matter. Here's where we split up. Return to your tents, everyone. Yeah. See you in the morning, guys! Good night, Edmund. Oh, oh! Do... <laughs> yeah! Night! Well? <laughs> well, what? Come on, what's the story between the two of you? Bow wow wow a wooga, am I right? Huh? Don't think we didn't notice you eyeing her before. You both tried to keep it a secret, but your eyes betray you. You couldn't bear being away from her any longer. So tonight, you decided to sneak out and indulge in a moment of passion. What are you guys talking about? It's okay, we get it. No need to explain if you don't want it. No one's judging you here. Virgin. <laughs> I have to say, well done, mate. <laughs> Looks like all my hard work is paid off. What have you done, Billy? What work have you invested here? I'm so proud. You're talking like some creepy uncle, and you're only a year older than me. Just ignore them. But do me a favor and tell your girlfriend. And she's not my girlfriend. 
Not that I would be <laughs> opposed to it, I mean, if, if the offer was on the table, but shut up, Edmund. Oh, sure, it's totally normal for a boy and girl to go out alone on a full moon and turn into werewolves and kill a village full of people. Totally platonic stuff right there. I'm too tired for this right now. It was terrifying in the moment, but now it's one of my fondest memories. Okay. I mean, sure. Yeah. I must admit something. Back then, I horribly misjudged you. I thought you were, like, the lamest person I'd ever met in my life. In what way? When I first heard of you, I imagined you to be some elitist brat, and I was, like, kind of right? Someone who always gets what he wants, and initially I, I treated you as such. <laughs> I also judged you poorly back then as well. When you yelled at me, I started to think the rumors about you were true, but that theory was dashed pretty quickly. <laughs> but if it wasn't for that night, I wouldn't have met you. I wouldn't have even met the friends I have now. My time in high school was so much fun, all because you were here. Thank you, Edmund. I just did what I wished someone did for me. What do you mean? I didn't have many friends growing up. I was like a total loser. And I really sense that in you, where like you also were kind of a loser outcast that nobody liked. I was constantly picked on and bullied for being weird. Everyone criticized everything about me, the way I looked, the way I looked at people, the way I talked, the words I said, the way I constantly gloated about my grades, everything. And eventually, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I isolated myself from the world. So being alone in my room was where I felt safe. Never understood what I was doing wrong. No one ever told me. All they told me was that I was doing everything wrong. It's like everyone was born knowing how to be human while I just missed the memo. And I guess I saw that part of me in you. I would always see you sitting on the pavement alone. Every time I'd always ask myself, why is someone like, why is someone like her all alone? It frustrated me that no one wanted to hang out with you. But if I wanted things to change, I had to be the one to make it happen. Edmund, that's really insulting. That's why, that's why I'll do whatever it takes to get you out of here. You and everyone else too. I swear it. <laughs> I guess that was a little corny, but I know you mean it. No one else could say something like that so seriously. Which part? Snurk. <laughs> All right, time for somebody to die, for God's sake. <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we should meet up with the others to decide what to do next. Edmund, there's something I... Mm -hmm. Ahem, I have an announcement. All students, please gather in the gym. Boo, 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 boo. The gym? Why? Oh, and seven hours remain, blah, blah, blah. What could this announcement be about? Well, standing here won't answer that. Come on, let's go. Right. Alright, let's check in and see what... Oh, what? Oh. Fancy painting there. I do, I do kind of like it. Striking. One year ago. One more game? Uh... Have you looked at the time? It's still early. It's two in the morning. It's early in the morning. Yeah, we should really get going. Fine. Thanks for inviting us, Billy. Is Billy's home? <laughs> what? <laughs> no prob! Let's do this again next year! For sure. There will be more reason to celebrate next year. Just one more year and we're out of there. I'll make sure Sis stays the whole night next year. We'll be counting on you. It's too bad that you got totally wasted. Good night, every- <coughs> Reina? You okay? 
I might be losing my voice. You should drink something. Alcohol. I'll get some water. Thanks, Argus. Um, good night, Edmund. Good night. Drive safely. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, Billy. I don't think I'll be able to make the drive back tonight. I'm totally drunk. You mind if I stay over for the night? Sure thing. As long as you don't mind sleeping on the couch. I slept on worse. Somehow I believe it. Great. Just started to rain. What a pain. Jeez, that was loud. It sounded pretty close. Sorry to keep you waiting. Feeling better? I'm fine. I'll be sure to rest my voice tomorrow. If you say so. Whoopsies. Come on, let's go. You want to ride home, Felix? Or would you rather walk to town? You're funny. I mean, again, I, I, I... Something happened to Felix, right? That's gotta be where this is going. And I still, I mean, if, if there is a quote-unquote mastermind, it feels like the closest person would be either Felix himself or somebody that had, like, some big connection to Felix in a way that we don't quite understand yet, maybe? I don't know. Never had an announcement beside the usual X hours until death crap, so what could this be about? Good, everyone's here. Not for long, a-hole. I'm glad you all decided to come. What is this about? I have some good news and some bad news. That's never a good sign. Could we start with the good news? Hang on, the good news is never good. We should start with the bad news. Exactly, bad news all the way. I've always been a good news first girl myself. Why are we even discussing this? <laughs> so, the good news? The bad news is that the game might be ending earlier than expected. Really? That's the bad news? Well, that's fantastic! And the good news? The good news is... Dramatic pause. This guy's really trying my patience. Someone planted a bomb, and you're all gonna die, XD. I knew we would get next to you at some point, yeah. Huh? Did I hear that right? Go to my go to my earliest three spook history, and God, it's nothing but XDs all over the place. What? A bomb? When you say bomb, you don't mean the explodey kind, do you? <laughs> you mean like, drop a bomb, like party time, right? Absolutely. Ah, okay. Wait, what? You can't be serious. Thought you didn't want to kill us outright. Since you've solved all the puzzles, I had to find another way to keep the thrills coming. And I am using the word thrills here <laughs> very lightly. <laughs> and what's more thrilling than some explosive kills? Seriously? I can't wait to see how you'll deal with this development. By the end of the hour, this whole school will go kablooey. So say your prayers before you embrace the cold abyss of death. You can't actually blow us up, right? But after everything that has happened today, I can't say it's impossible. Find the detonator if you don't feel like meeting the big man in the sky. Yeah, that's right. I'm Christian. <laughs> what of it? I don't really see how my religion plays a role in this. Time's running out. Beep. 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 That was just me. I just like saying beep. We have to find that bomb. Everyone split up and search. Let's be back here when it's disarmed. Right. I'll search the fourth floor.
All right, well, folks, we'll have to go on bomb retrieval and <laughs> disarmament unit next time. Uh, I, I'm curious where this is going. Uh, like, it feels like this is probably not for realsies and it's instead some way like motivation or, or trick or something, but we'll have to find out. Until then, this has been Downstage Gaming. I have been your host, Josh, and I will catch you all next time.